Well, happening now, September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. The American Red Cross is hoping to increase compatible blood donations. The nonprofit has launched Join by Blood, a program aimed at improving the health outcomes of those with sickle cell disease through community-based partnerships. And joining us live with the Red Cross Cascades region is Marissa Wyckoff. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we think about sickle cell disease as a disease that affects primarily African Americans. Uh, is that the case? That is, yes. Sickle cell disease is um, a disease that distorts red blood cells. Red blood cells are typically round and soft and carry oxygen and blood throughout your body. But patients with sickle cell disease, um, it distorts the, the blood cells and creates, makes them hard and crescent shaped, which causes difficulty and very painful and other complications for those patients with sickle cell disease. And, and as I understand it, it's, it's difficult in some cases to find compatible donors to help these patients. Tell us about that. Yes, um, only one in three African American donors are a match for patients with sickle cell disease. So last year, the American Red Cross uh, started an initiative, a sickle cell disease initiative, to really create stronger partnerships with our African American communities and sponsors to really increase the number of donors uh, to help support those patients with sickle cell disease. And I'm really excited to share in the last year, uh, the sickle cell initiative generated about 60% of um, African American donors, incre we increased the number of African American donors by 60%. So we are just hoping to continue on that momentum with the Join by Blood campaign that we're launching for the months of September and October. Uh, are you partnering with uh, specific organizations within the community to get the word out about this? Yes, on a national level, we are really uh, looking towards our um, National Panhellenic Council, the Divine Nine, a uh, uh, black uh, um, fraternities and sororities, uh, nationally Jack and Jill Foundation, and uh, 100, uh, 100 Black Men is another national organization that we're, we're sponsoring. But this Saturday at our Portland Donor Center, we have a very special blood drive. It's our Dr. Charles Drew blood drive uh, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we still have a lot of appointments I last heard available to donate. And so we really hope to, to increase the number of, of African American donors to help support that blood drive. And now what do people need to know if someone's never donated blood before? Uh, mm -hmm. It can be a little, a little scary, you know, going into a blood drive and not really knowing what to expect. What do you want people to know ahead of signing up? Uh, just appointments are, are preferred. You can always sign up and find a very local and convenient blood uh, donation appointment by going to redcrossblood.org, entering your zip code, and you can see it and schedule yourself. Uh, to, to donate, you just need to be in general good health. We want you to be prepared to hydrate, to rest, to eat prior to your blood donation, and just know that the donation that you're giving really does help support those patients in need. And uh, you give people after the blood donation a little time to uh, recover, uh, give them orange juice and, and other things. Well, that's well, right? Oreo cookies. That's, that's the best the part. That's the best part. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. I, I yes. will say, you know, I, vaccines can be painful and stuff. I donate blood all the time. It's, it's really not that bad. Yeah, not and at all. And you're doing a good deed. And uh, hopefully people will be uh, able to hear this message and get out and help with this effort for a sickle cell disease. Marissa yeah. Wyckoff with the American Red Cross. Thanks to you. Uh, thank you for joining us on AMA extra. Thank you. And if you want to learn where you can become a blood donor, of course, you can go out to the blood drive this weekend. You can also donate at locations anytime around the area. We've got all the information you need on the AM extra section of coin.com.